So you may have heard that John Stone somehow got rumbled for his cheating antics on long-term girlfriend Millie Savage. He apparently took his not-so-secret lover out on team nights and to dinner before bedding her at expensive hotels in Salford. So what do you do when you get caught out? Do you have some dignity? Do you end it? Do you grovel? Nah, you get a tattoo of her face on your arm, don't you? Of course you do. A permanent fixture of your other half tattooed on your body forever. Let's hope for John Stones' sake that it's not a case of once a cheat, always a cheat because this tattoo might be very difficult to fix. So this week, Footy Leaks exposed the contract details of some of the world's biggest names. Mario Balotelli obviously was at the fore of it. His agent has played an absolute blinder. He managed to get the club to agree to a deal which would see Balotelli earn one million pound bonus if he refrained from spitting at more than two players over the season. But you're not supposed to spit at people. It's not, you shouldn't be rewarded for stuff you're not supposed to do. Staying with Liverpool, Firmino has a can't join Arsenal clause in his contract. So this clause is reacting to Arsenal's very cheeky bid of Luis Suarez a few years ago when they bid £40 million and a pound. He pissed off Ian Eyre that much that he had to put a clause in the contract that specifically stops him from joining Arsenal and only Arsenal. How do they find the moral high ground? to be pissed off with Arsenal when they're constantly pillaging Southampton of all their best players. Claude, a little bit of advice. Maybe have a look at Van Dijk's contract before the January transfer window. Penenka, a chip from the penalty spot named after Antonin Penenka after he deceived German goalkeeper Sepp Meyer with a wonderfully dinked penalty in the 1976 European Championships. The Cruyff turn, a skill that becomes synonymous with Dutch legend Johan Cruyff and the Ronaldo chop, a move in which Cristiano Ronaldo allows the ball to travel between his legs before quickly cutting back in in a different direction. And now, I'm very proud to present to you the trundle. What a flash prick. Here in Germany, most fans I know are devastated. RB is destroying our football system. Also, great clubs with big history and fan bases are losing their best young talent. So I got on the pod this week, it oh, was yeah. mental. Oh, yeah. I couldn't believe it. You can check out the whole thing. We'll put the link somewhere. But RB Leipzig, we were talking about that. Was it Leipzig? Well, that's, yeah. that's another comment. Uh, someone said, how many times did... I did. Did Flav struggle with the word Leipzig? Leipzig. RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig. Zeipzig. Zeipzig. Leipzig. <laughs> Sorry, I said Zeipzig. Leipzig. I think I said Zig Zig, zig once. Uh, yeah, horrendous. I've got no issue with, the, with their purchasing. It's more the fact that the fans don't have uh, a part. But here's another one, Marble Halls TV. He says, Barca and Real Madrid run the same way too. Fans slash membership led Premier League clubs need to be doing the same. We need to change the corporate governance of our clubs. I know it's serious stuff for talking balls, but I, fans need to be engaged and involved. And, and it's just the doesn't seem like it's the make. culture here though in England. It's not, it, uh, we are, we just kind of acquiesce. So how do we change it? We organise ourselves, we come together and we do a little video on YouTube. <laughs> On You Decide this week, me and Flav went toe-to-toe -to -toe talking about Alexis Sanchez and if he's replaceable or not at Arsenal. You can check out that video if you want to. We were also talking about the best under-21 player in the Premier League. Best young player in the Premier League. So mm. this is under-21. I went for Marcus Rashford. Deli Alley. You went for Deli Alley. There were some other options at well, as well, but people, I don't think you were really doing your research before you got involved. Ben Sabre, when talking about best young players, I find it funny. I've never seen anyone in any show mention Hector Bellerin. Is it that he's been around for a while that they forgot he's still just 20 years old? Well, Ben, no, I like you and you, you make some really good points here. Yeah. But he's, 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 not, 20. he's not under 21. So yeah. this is under 21. He's, t he's 21. Jack Wren. Bellerin is the best young player in the, in the league. 20 under 21, Flav. Yeah. I'm that's what I'm trying to get across to them. They yeah. need to read that bit. I mean, we get things wrong and, and they tell us for it. So we need to say it back. Yeah. He's, he's not under 20, 21. Rene Ga Games. Bellerin a shout. No. No. He's, he's not, not. He's not under 21. He's, he's 21. 21. He's amazing. 
He's such a good player. He, but probably, he's not would under 21. Be, he probably would be if he was under 21, but he isn't. Yeah. Samuel Brook Williams, why no Origi? He's 21. It's under 21. Yeah, Flav. Under, under 21. Un guys, under 21. Probably not in focus, but under 21. And Origi wouldn't even have a shout anyway. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's average as shit. And he, does, he doesn't fit the format. It's another 50 da uh, dislikes. Cheers, Liverpool fans. Everton fans like it? The problem is is that it, these people think we're stupid. Do you know what I mean? They, they're they saying how come we're, that, that we... We're have, not... That we're, we're not... We are... No, no, we're not We're not stupid. stupid. And finally, <coughs> Fellaini's been getting a bit of stick this week. Is Fellaini the worst? Um, the worst what? Worst what? Just the worst. Really? Just the worst? Right. And he's been compared to someone. Who? Ryan said this week, Fellaini is our Phil Bab. Not seeing the resemblance myself. Phil Bab? Why? I don't know. I see where he you're is. Yeah. He, is he the worst? But it did get me thinking, and this is the question for this week, okay. is do you have a player, or do you know of a player that reminds you of another player? It can be in the looks department or in the playing style. Let us know. I remember when I was at university, this one lad would always go on about George uh, Samaras and saying he was like a young Fernando Morientes. There's I can an example see that. for you. Uh, I, I looks wise, playing wise, not really up to par. Kane uh, is similar to Sheringham. I've always thought that. Sheringham. Imagine, imagine if Kane's name was Sheringham and he had to say Sheringham oh. all the time. He's take, very lucky there is with that. Taking the Mickey out of uh, speech impediment. He's a kind of hybrid of Sheringham and Shearer. He's almost the perfect striker. Imagine if Harry Kane's name was Sharing and Shira. Again? No, I'm having a go now. Really? Leave it. I like Harry Kane, he's a nice bloke. Mm. Uh, so that's the question this week. Let's know. Uh, is there a player playing right now that reminds you of a player back in the day? Let us know in the comments below. That's top comments done for this week. I'll be back next week. See you later. As football fans, it's our prerogative to complain when our players are not performing on the pitch. We pay a lot of money. And we have a right to voice our dissatisfaction if we feel that someone isn't pulling their weight. We view these players as myopic utensils of our football clubs, as if the only thing they do is eat, drink and sleep football. A year ago today, Harry Arter's daughter was stillborn. He recently gave an interview to The Guardian where he laid bare how badly this had affected him. He talked about becoming a disruptive influence on the dressing room. And while he never asked for any leave, he was emotionally broken. And as Christmas approaches and you reflect on the past 12 months and think of those that can't be there to join you on Christmas Day, remember footballers are more than just their salaries and they share the same emotions as you and I. So while you might bemoan your side's performances over a difficult Christmas period and shouting at one of your players that they just don't care, maybe they actually have something to care about.